Good morning and happy new year again, people. It's Lisa here from Shady Tree Stitches. And of course, we have got Knitting Nat Stitches, Nat. Hello. And Carla from Craft Addict K. Hi, everybody. Uh, and we're here to bring you the monthly, well, it's meant to be the monthly homework video chat. Um, but being the 1st of January, it's actually more of a yearly thing. So we're going to whip through super quickly because there's quite a lot happening um, and give you an idea of what we're doing and how we're going to be um, tackling these projects. All right. We might start with the monthly. We've got only two monthlies, I think. So let's start with the Daily 30, Cross Stitches Journal and Daily 30. Remember, it's closed group. But for those of you who are in it, here is what we're going to do. All right, so daily 30, I'm gonna round it out real quickly. You have to do five out of the 10 prompts. They're doing something different this year with their monthlies. It's 300 stitches per prompt, and you can do an additional 100 stitches for alternate stitches, which is something they didn't have last year. Um, so there's that. There isn't a build a challenge though with your monthlies. So just remember that. And if you're not in the daily 30, you can still kind of join in on these prompts on your own. Um, she, Cheryl's fine with that. So um, one of the first ones up is 300 stitches on a ship or a boat in your design. Actually on the ship or boat? It just says it has to have a ship or a boat oh. in the design. All right. And I'm now, condensing it. She has a lot more information, but because no, no. of time Con I'm condensing is fine. down, so. All right, Nat, what have you got for a ship or a boat? Well, I have Anzac. There's quite a few ships or boats in there. Unfortunately, ah. I'm not in my normal stitches spot, so that whip is actually back in Sydney. So this is going to be one that, uh, that I'm going to be skipping and uh, stitching in favour of a different prompt. Well, okay, my thought... Um, is going to be because I haven't given it much thought yet. <laughs> well, I just want I have got my big red ship of life, which mm -hmm. has a ship or a boat in it. And the idea is that I stitch um, in one color um, to do that. So I might be able to find something to double dip with that one, maybe. What about you? Nice. I am going to do Shores of Hawk Run Hollow because there's a ship in there. So yep. that's, and I've got two blocks left. So this will be a finish this year. Ooh. Well, that's good because it is no new starts, but we're also looking for finishes. Absolutely. Mm -hmm. um, the next prompt is something in a design you would find at a party. Hmm. I would find dancing now where was the dancing oh that's right in joyous noel we have lords are leaping uh where are they there they are lords are leaping just down in the bottom corner here <laughs> nice. nice very nice well i would like to try and do a little bit of um no oh, no i don't want to double dip with that Something I would find in the party. All right, I don't know, Carla, do yours while I think for a second. Well, I'm thinking at a party, <laughs> you know, let's see. There is, boy, there's so many I could do for this. Um, but how about Newcastle bouquet? Because <laughs> you can have a flower basket at a party. Carla, you read my mind. <laughs> Look at this. I just found this one and I went, Oh, I'm going to be working on this one for something else. And look, there's a flower basket. No. <laughs> so I thought a basket of flowers at a party. There's always big flower decorations. So there you go. Two out of three say go a flower decoration. All mm. right. With, with both a pole, like a pole, and a ball in the design. And this was challenging because some of us were talking about this on Zoom last night. Nice. And it came to me what I was going to do, but I don't have the pattern here, Lisa. But That's all right. Do you have it on your whip album, though? It is. It's uh, California Dreaming. If you want to see if you can find it, I think, I think it has, I know it has a beach ball. 
And I believe that there is a table on top of the camper that has an umbrella pole. Oh, okay. Yeah, I won't be able to find it at the moment because I'm in my album, but that would make sense. I'm going to mm. see if I can find it in mine while you're... Yeah, you look, look for yours. Okay, okay. so what, what are you saying? Got... A pole and a ball, okay. A pole and a ball. So I've got St. Andrews. We've got flag poles and golf balls. Oh, nice. <laughs> like that. All right. As I love to multi-dip as much as possible, I am going to be working on this one, Barnyard Morning, and there is a pole on the rake, oh, and yeah. the eggs are a ball. Yeah. Nice. So, <laughs> so, okay, and I found mine, and oh, it, it has a beach ball down here, and there's an umbrella pole up on the top of the cool. camper. So... <gasps> Uh, let's see. Something that might scare a child. Oh. Oh, I know a good one for that one. But yeah. I got to pull it up again. Okay, so got? here's a piece that I'm doing a bit of double dipping on. This is Precious Baby. And some children are scared of dogs. Ah, oh, they are. Good point. Mm -hmm. They definitely are. I, I know exactly what I'm going for for this one. And again, in my usual method of trying to make sure I'm not wasting my time stitching on unnecessary pieces, if I don't need to, I'm trying to find the exact one I'm looking for because it's um, going to be double dipped with other groups. All right. There we go. Something that might ch scare a child. Um, different characters from Among Us might scare a child, particularly the plague doctor. He's yeah, really scary doctor. looking. Plus, any of the characters can scare you if they're the imposter and going to kill you. Yes. Nice. And I think I'm going to do my, uh, I believe this is Happy Camper. It's a Heaven and Earth Jeffrey Severn design, and it's full of wild animals. So that'll scare a child for Definitely. sure. Definitely. Um, 300 stitches on something that sparkles or sparkly thread. Uh, again, this is one that I don't have with me here, but when I do get back home, I will be able to stitch on Shakespeare's fairies. Oh, that's pretty. And also the lanterns would sparkle and twinkle. Well, I'm wondering, would they classify beads as sparkling? Um, doesn't say, just says something sparkly or sparkly thread. So I don't know why not. Mm. Okay. You know, at Daily 30, you can't really, they don't really answer questions. No, no, they so don't. don't do that. But. Um, I'm just thinking of, of, of double, double dipping, mm. but, but that's okay because this one might get worked on in another week anyway. This is, um, 12 days of Christmas and I've done all the red borders and around the red borders are gold sparkly thread borders. So oh, it's yeah. quite easy to do, you know. Oh, nice. 300 yeah. on that. I am going to do um, Phantom of the Opera because there's the sparkly chandelier. Oh, yes. Look at that. Yeah. So, and I'm using treasure braid for that. I don't know if I'll get to that, but it's in my pattern. So I'm going with it. Um, stitched before... In some form, wait a minute, that doesn't make any sense. Let me read this again. Something you stitched before in some form in the same chart or different charts. Ah, I can oh, do that. Okay. Yep. So that could be anything with symmetry. Mm-hmm. Like an in ink circles? Mm-hmm. Well, yep. I, I would be bringing out my... Um, Joy is Noel again, be, or I could do um, Precious Baby because there's symmetry with the dogs. Mm. Uh, Precious Noel, uh, Joy is Noel, there's angels on both sides and trees mm. on both sides. Well, I actually had a totally different take on that, so that's good. This is why we like doing this, because we all have different opinions. I instantly thought I will do my alphabet sampler mm -hmm. because I have started it and done 
ABC on a separate piece of fabric and then it's a restart for this year. So I'm going to be stitching it again and on the new piece of fabric. So I've done it before would be my theory. Okay. I'm thinking One Nation. <laughs> I'm turning, my phone's turning, sorry. I'm thinking One Nation because the stripes, you got the repetitive white stars. So, and I know a mm -hmm. lot of people are working on One Nation. So that would fit for a, that prompt, I think. Yeah, cool. Um, then she has 300 stitches in red floss and you can use multiple projects for that. Again, right. lots of red in there. And I'm just going to butt straight in and say, looks like I'm stitching in red on the big red ship of life. <laughs> <laughs> I want to stitch that. I need to get that pattern. <laughs> um, Joyous Noel again. Mm, lots of red on that. Lots of red. I had to buy, go out and buy a whole new skein of 321 just the other day. <laughs> <laughs> just for it. Yeah, more, more red than I was expecting, so yeah. This one's a little bit harder. I don't have anything that I can think of for this one. It's 300 stitches with something with grapes in the design. I don't have any, I've had this. I don't think I have anything with grapes. Anything with grapes, but um, I have seen whips in people's albums with wine bottles and glasses and things like that. Um, yeah. That's, I just think of Stitch Vicky, Stitch and Buttons, her pillow that has all the yeah. grapes she's been working on. That's right. There are some Teresa Winsler, Winsler designs um, in whip albums with grapes and things like that as well that I've seen. <laughs> well, Samantha, my daughter says that grapes are just what did she say raisins are just dead grapes so mm. <laughs> could you do something with raisins because it is dried up dead grapes yeah you're muted you said we only Lisa. have to do half the prompts so <laughs> yeah, that's right. yeah um well i i can't see it closely but i'll have to have a look closer but what sprung to my mind i'm doing a stitching shelf and i know there's definitely a wine bottle in here somewhere mm. so there mm. may be some grapes um, oh, yeah. oh, I wonder if my museum shelf has any grapes. I'll have to might, look at that. You might find some on some of those projects. I can't look closely enough at the moment. I know I've yeah. done grapes on something before, but with so many finishes last year, I, I may have finished whatever they were um, mm. to do. Anyway, that's all right. What have we got next? Okay. Um, 300 stitches on something facing to the left in the design. Again, that's a symmetry one. So you could do the do the project that you used for the repeating design if it's a symmetry thing. Um, I think I'm going to do twilight. Because <laughs> <Look at laughs> <that. laughs> they're facing each other. <laughs> well, I, I may not decide to do these ones because these are actually my yearly pieces for Cheryl, but um, Maidens of oh. the Season is facing to the left and the right. So... Yeah, I could do I like the yeah. fabric on those. That's beautiful fabric. Yeah, I could stitch also. Um, oh, my, yeah. Um, so she's, she and the cat are facing left. But so is the flower. Yes, there's flowers. Yeah. Are facing yeah, flower right. space. So. Mm -hmm. Okay. And I believe this is the last one. Um, 300. Wait a minute. Where is it at? Oh, sorry. 300 stitches on whip of your choice and tell us what your new year's resolution is oh well that's easy that could be anything so i'm not mm -hmm. going to think about what that is yet i'll wait to see what i need to double dip with and chuck it in and come up with an explanation then right yeah. <laughs> cool all right that, well, that's, that's all the daily 30s that's the monthly the monthly so yeah. the next monthlies we've got uh um full coverage fanatics is doing a bingo challenge. Mm. Um, are you guys doing the bingo challenge? I am. Started yeah. looking at it. Oh, yeah. there's, my... there's a whole bunch of options for the bingo challenge. Um, yeah. And I imagine you just, you, you pick a line that you're going to stitch. Is that the way you guys interpret it? 
Yeah, yes. so I, I've actually picked um, the middle line. So this is um, using pieces I'm going to double dip, but I actually, um, yeah, while you guys are thinking for a second, I'll show you mine. Okay. So because I want to double dip, these are pieces that I'm using for my focus challenge for another group. And so my stitching time has got birds on it. Um, so I'm going to double dip with that by using the one that has birds. And then I am also focusing, I've got to find it. Oh, putty cats come in now. <laughs> um, this one's not going to double dip. This is the thing about having so many whips, but at least they're all in the whip album and I can find them. I just have to scroll through. So, look, we have a visitor. <laughs> all right. Um, my full coverage piece that's closest to a finish. This is hilarious because uh, none of my full coverages are closest to a finish. I have done more stitches on the next one you'll see, but this one here, Macintosh Mill, is the, um, is the smallest full coverage I have. So it's actually closest to the finish because it's got less stitches to be done. And then the last one is going to double dip and multi dip across many places. I just got to find him. I'll get to learn where these are in the albums. Don't worry. Okay. So my amazing Animal Kingdom bookshelf comes up quite regularly for prompts and it's one of my focus pieces. And so this one has got animals and more than two colors in it. No, sorry, more than 21 <laughs> colors. <laughs> yeah, for sure. Yeah. So, so that's what I'm gonna do for the monthly bingo. Yeah. Oh, and then there's an own choice. So whatever. Yeah. So I'm taking the the second line down, second line down, which has got um, something that flies. So I've got my teacup dragon, which I'm wanting to give a bit of extra work to. Here we are, teacup butterfly. Anything oh. Bangla will have the dragons pretty much, or birds. Um, and of course, along that line is also dragons as well. Uh, then, Something with words and with blank or B5200 is St Andrews. Yep. So around the border is actually B5200. There's a mm -hmm. B5200 border that's charted. <clears throat> um, and the fourth, this, well, it's the second one. I'm just trying to be efficient with how I do it. Um, there is celebration. And with that, I am doing London because there's bunting and there's beer and tea. Cool. High tea and things like that. So things that you would associate with a celebration. Okay. I'm doing the diagonal. So for me, and I'm going to scroll with my phone to show you, um, it's something with two people, two of something, and I'm using Stargazer because there's two feet. <laughs> and this is a focus piece for me this year. And then some kind of celebration, I'm going to use my happy little twilight couple because to me, they're celebrating Valentine's Day. Oh, He's they are. a flower. Yeah. Yep. And these are all double dipped with other challenges. Yep. So that really dictated what I chose. Um, my stitcher's choice is Hazel the Giraffe. And this is for the annual for Daily 30 and my zombie run. So I'm double dipping it with that. And then I have Phantom for something sparkly, which we saw Phantom. It's got the sparkly chandelier. Mm -hmm. And it's the last one is a mitten scarves or hats sweaters and these two folks got they got the sweaters <laughs> so yeah. i'm going to use that one again so 
And so with the full coverage, if you have a match, it's a thousand stitches. So it's also my Whipco call this oh, month was that twilight. So, and for me, my Whipco is doing a page finish because I did all full coverages. So anytime I can tie it in, I'm tying them in. Mm. Awesome. All right. So do we have anything else? Um, Semi Sane got monthly happening? Yeah, they've got quite a few things happening this month. Oh. I've counted five, five events. So one that started just a smidge before New Year's, which was lovely of them, um, was Alpha My Bet. So that's every fortnight, actually. Um, this week they're on letter A. And in two weeks' time, they'll be on letter B. Now, for this one, you need to be stitching on the letter. Uh, Carla. I chose Felice Navidad for that by Blackbird Designs. Lovely. And so how my approach is I'm working on the border until that letter's called, and then I'm putting in that letter uh, and then I'll work the border to the next letter. So I kind of a path to follow that I can count off of to get my alphabet in. So, yeah. and I really like this. That's really. a great idea for doing that yeah. sort of pattern. Well, yeah, you know what mine is. So mine is the drawn thread <laughs> alphabet sampler and I'm stitching it like this picture all on one piece of fabric. So as you can see, they're basically in rows. So mm -hmm. I will do, the, my goal is to do the whole row in the fortnight. And they're all um, fancy stitches as well as cross stitches. But at the very least, I should be able to do the box and the letter, which are cross stitches. So I will yeah. work my way across there. Very good. Mm -hmm. um, and I'm doing something similar to you, Carla, working on the border and getting to the letter as I get to it. I have got, oops, is it there? Oh. Nice sampler. So I've already got the corner and... And of course, there's that enormous bouquet in the middle. So I really <laughs> want to get this finished this year. So I am double dipping it across Everywhere. many. Yeah. There's so many things to double dip with. Yes. Mm -hmm. All right. And that's going to be fun. So, yeah. So you'll see us. We'll probably actually, um, well, we'll probably talk about that in the monthly, but we'll talk about the two letters. But there's not really much yeah. to do just to remind you what we're doing. That's mm -hmm. right. Um, and, you know, the ABCs, it's, it's a great way to work through a, through an alphabet sampler, really, isn't it? It's wonderful. Um, what else do we have? We've got the snowball fight that's happening this month. Um, it's, a, it's a game where we're basically able to stitch 300 stitches to create a all the dogs come in or out. Uh, 300 stitches to earn a snowball. And then 100, and if you're hit with a snowball, 100 stitches to dry off. And the recommendation is to use one whip for one and one whip for the other. Um, I'm working on Precious Baby because that's a focus piece for me until that's done, until a baby's born. Yes. And, um, and I'm wanting to get Among Us done as well so that's a, a really fun piece I'm um I'm doing the same idea but I'm slotting in with still in my what I'm stitching on but I'm whatever I'm stitching on will make a snowball for 300 stitches because that'll fit in whatever other prompt I'm doing but to dry off I'm actually going to be using my among us because it's lots of block colors yeah. um to, to dry off so I noticed I've got hit overnight so I'm going to be starting with among us when I start stitching today <laughs> mm -hmm. I don't know off? who would have hit you Lisa <laughs> oh I think a few people actually but yes <laughs> <laughs> I actually hadn't even thought about the drying off but now listening to you guys I kind of have an idea I've been building snowballs as I've been working on my phantom piece um because I'm double dipping it but part of the zombie run you know I'm doing human form which is 400 stitches so I could start that and dry off on one of those and one project will give me four dry offs exactly. for that mm. prompt. So I can double dip that. So mm. that's probably which way I'll go. Yep. Yeah. Cool. We have a January focus piece. Now this is, this is one where it's a piece of our choice. The challenge is to outstitch the admins. Um, they're asking for us to stitch a thousand stitches and um, 
sorry, we the kitchen's that way. Uh-huh, so good. <laughs> my, that's my mum. She taught me how Hi, to mom. stick. <laughs> and the car's out that way. And she does a whole lot better job. It's all good. <laughs> and uh, yeah, we're getting ready for a beach trip. So yeah, it's a thousand stitch intervals, and um, yeah, so it's basically stitch, stitch, stitch as much as you can on one piece. All right. Well, it's because this is tying in. So my amazing animal kingdom is my January focus piece. Um, mm-hmm. So I'm probably realistically only going to do a thousand on it, um, or maybe twelve hundred, depending on fitting it in with some other things that I've got it planned for. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Carla. Mine's going to be Stargazer. It's a full coverage, but that's going to be my focus this year. And this is my 21 and 21 piece too. So I'm double dipping it with that. So I'm planning on making this the focus each month because I know I got to put so many stitches in it. My Animal Kingdom's my 21 and 21, which is a, just to mention it now, instead of having to come back to it, is a full coverage fanatic focus um, piece, 21,000 stitches in the year 2021. Mm-hmm. Uh, yeah. One for that, Nat? um yeah i'm doing st andrews st andrew i thought you were and what about for your january focus um my january focus is precious baby because that baby's going to be born (laughs) born and i'm going to get that that whip done so just going back to carla's very last prompt where we had a resolution Mm, yeah it's my resolution as well yes (laughs) <laughs> see they're getting ready they're to go. like they're out yeah. they're going to the beach <laughs> with or without you yeah <laughs> leaving her behind okay um all right so what else have we got for monthly uh we've got uh nerdapalooza so i'm going to, i'm going to rush yeah and leave you guys to that's finish all right because i've got to you got to go stuff. nerdapalooza which is the non-counting challenge I'm going to be doing um, Among Us because it's quite definitely nerdy. Yep. And, um, yep. Uh-huh. and what else have we got? Whip Days, where we need to. Sorry. Here we go. We're done with the dog to run out. Um, where we need to stitch on a project with a bear, project with a bird. A project with words or books and project with penguins and it's four different projects um i can't do bear because at the moment because i don't have anzac with me koala bear not mm-hmm. really a bear but anyway um i do have plenty of projects with words and books okay so, cool well thank you have to do all four pro- well we'll talk about that we'll let natalie run away okay. Thank you, Natalie. I'm going to hand over host to you, Lisa. Yep. <laughs> there we thanks, go. Nat. All right. We'll so, catch you later. Thank you. you Have fun at the beach. We will. <laughs> <laughs> She's gone. Okay. Um, well, no, you only have to do one prompt. Okay. Um, out of the four. But, you know, some of us are a bit obsessive and like to do whatever's set as an offer. Although my obsession to doing that this year, because there's so many groups that we'll be talking about, um, I may be actually just doing what needs to be done um, Mm -hmm. unless I have extra stitches to throw somewhere because, as as we'll see, because we haven't even touched on the yearlies yet. Right. (laughs) So, um, yeah, so um, I am, I have set myself up to work on those pieces. And again, Double dipping extraordinaire. It's what I like to do. Mm-hmm. I haven't counted. I'm in eight groups. <laughs> so oct oct dipping. <laughs> octo dipping. So my amazing animal kingdom would cover the polar bear bear plunge because there's a polar right. bear. Mm-hmm. It would cover the penguin awareness because there's penguins. Um, it could cover it actually could cover all four. It could cover the um the bird day because there's plenty of birds and it could cover word nerd because there's books because it's one of the amy's right. bookshelves but i, I have that too yes <laughs> you do have that um but i have another focus piece that's equally and these will make sense when we talk about the yearlies in a minute um which is the stitch in time 
So I'm actually mm. thinking about using this for two of them. This one would do for the birds and the books. Yeah. So I'm actually going to do all four this month because I'm going to be doing the stitches anyway. Very good. Um, I never even really gave it a thought. I was going to use Phantom because I'm trying to double dip it anyway. And, and I'm using it across a couple other groups already. I think I might be triple quadrupling at this yeah. point. I haven't really no. wrapped my head around it all. But I have bears. I could use that happy camper I showed earlier yes, that had definitely. the bears. Um, and the birds are in there. The penguins, what had me stumped until you just showed your animal kingdom because I have the same pattern. So um, I could definitely do that. I just didn't even think about that one no. would have and, penguins. So, And that's part of why we do these videos is to give people ideas. You know, it's amazing how many people and, you know, thank you to you lovely people who keep commenting and saying, where's the video? We want the video. We want to think through what we can do. So Good. we do we do this live, as you can tell. So um, we don't really prepare we sometimes have had a bit of time to think about things, but you know, like the like the daily thirty. I I've only just woken up. I haven't even seen the prompts yet. So you're really getting the top of my head just thoughts. All right. Do we have any other monthly? So that's it. Um. No. There's more. <laughs> oh, there's, oh. Okay. <laughs> there's more. There's lots happening. Like because um. So the next monthly we've got is well, it's not really a monthly. But very importantly, the No New Starts 2021 group has got mm. challenges that we need to um, mention <laughs> since that's what we are, you know, the admin mm -hmm. team. That. Um, so we are doing two things that are monthly. Well, they're not monthly. They're, again, you know, sort of. It's a bit weird. One is called the um, so Stitching the Zodiac. And so you were stitching the star sign, things to do with the star sign. It lasts for a month, but it starts on the day that the star sign starts, like the 19th or the 20th of the month. So we actually started this last month, but it's carrying through until the 20th of this month. So okay. um, that's stitching the Zodiac. And I can't, it's got something with a goat, um, a garnet, yeah. um, a carnation or a, some other flower. And what's the other thing? Um, um, I'll let you find it. Um, I'm looking, I'm looking, <laughs> but I'm not sure if we covered those ones last month. But coming up, what we might do is we might actually mention these when they come up for the week that they're going to start because they're starting on the 19th or 20th. So we'll mention these more in the weekly homework um, videos. Okay, so it's an earth sign, a goat, a garnet carnation or snowdrop right an earth sign yeah okay see again i've actually already stitched these i got them out of the I way too. last year so but that's something that's happening so um if you're in part of the group whether you're in the main challenge or not you can participate in in doing that and then you've got till the you know whatever the date it finishes 19th 20th of the month so if you're looking for something to do for no new starts then i suggest starting that um and we will give you more ex detailed examples closer to when the next star sign kicks in for the next month. Also monthly though, it will fortnightly again, is the birthday sales. Um, and the birthday sales are to do with people who have their birthdays in, in January. Um, are you able to get them up to see specifically what they are? I can. Then? And the um, idea was I asked people in the group who had birthday sales to tell me what they sold and when their birthday was. And I collated all that information and we then published the sales with their pieces or mm -hmm. their designer. Um, a lot of people didn't start one. So that's just, you know, the way it was. And a lot of people didn't respond, but I just had to collate the information we had. And then during the year, every fortnight, we celebrate the birthdays of that fortnight. So if you have their piece, you join them for a stitch along because the whole thing with no new starts is not to start along, it's to stitch along. So Correct. you have to join them and work on that piece that they're working on for that fortnight. Um, and that would be good. And if you don't have it, then you don't. So for January 1st to the 15th, um, it is stitching on Land That I Love by Teresa Hogett or anything by Cooler Design Studio. There you go. So that's what's going on currently yep. for the and birthday sale. I, I don't have those. So I'm not participating. I do. Yeah, well, so I you... didn't realize I did. So I'm going to have to post on that. Yeah, you need um, to. 
the 16th through the 31st of January is any piece by Dimensions um, Gold. Ooh, so yeah. that's, you have a Dimensions Gold piece. I do. I have quite a few. Um, I have some, but I don't have any of them started. <laughs> they're kidding. They're all wonderful, but yeah. they're not started. Well, let me share. So this is later in the month, which is good. But see, this will help me formulate what I'm working on later in the month. First one that's come up on my list is my Cozy Cove. Oh, yeah. So um, I, will, I will be keeping in my mind to maybe, do you have any other dimensions golds? That might be the only one I've got. I'm not sure if the Samurai is a dimensions gold. Um, I, well, I can tell you, being a No New Starts album checker has been a challenge with all these beautiful whips that I'm uh, seeing. My wish list just grows and grows every time I go in to look at albums. Yes, I've got and a so few. as you're scrolling through yours, I see things already I want to get. So <laughs> I have these dimensions ones, which I'd really like to work on, but they're not gold. But I don't think it matters too much if I was to do a dimensions rather than a dimensions gold, because it's still the because you can do it by the designer. So mm -hmm. dimensions is the designer. So yeah, I've got three choices there by the looks of it. And what, is okay. that the only other? Is that the only option? That's the only one yep. for the 16th through the 31st. So I will join them in that sale when it gets to the 16th and I'll decide which okay. one I'm going to do. And that will now make me think for that, that fortnight, what can I do for homeworks that will double dip? And I'm going to have to post right that Teresa Kogut because I have that land that I love and that would be a really good reason to get some good stitches in there. Maybe that'll become my daily 30, 30 minute piece. Yeah, you might be able to use it. That in chuck that into the, the weeklies but we'll talk about the weeklies on on sunday mm -hmm. all right so monthlies um there's also sorry in full coverage fanatics there's also stitching the classics um won't go through it in detail mm -hmm. but it's happening and each month there's um, a couple of books stitching the books so this month's the classics little women the great gatsby pride and prejudice you're basically stitching the book pages um, mm -hmm. on a piece or you can match the pieces or you know it's really cool there's just so many many things happening um so I think that's all our month oh and then there's the i um, sorry the daily 30 monthly um not monthly but the yearly but the yearly is like a monthly right, right. <laughs> so it's listed in my monthlies but it's a yearly so we'll move on to the yearlies quickly they shouldn't take as long to do although there's a lot of them um for the daily 30 you uh, had to pick four, four um, focus pieces and you have to decide whether you're a human or a zombie. So what are you? You're a zombie, are you, Carla? I'm doing, I'm going to be a human. I'm a human too. Yeah. So a human, you stitch, you still stitch 2,400 stitches in the, in the month. Um, right. It's, it's a yearly event that keeps you on track and you have to stitch your, your number of stitches on four whips. So we have to stitch 400 stitches on each whip before we move mm -hmm. on to the next one. If you're a zombie, you only have to stitch 200. That's correct. So um, I then... went with the 400 because I didn't want to have to stop and take pictures at every 200. Mm. So I could get more stitches, then take my rest picture and post it and then start my other projects. So. Well, I also thought that a lot of prompts are often 300 stitches mm -hmm. um, for some of my other groups. So... I thought, well, if I do the 400, I'm already doing 300. It's only another 100. All right. right. Well, what, what are your four focus pieces for this one? Um, I actually am doing my four. I actually have them sitting right here in front of me. Mm -hmm. um, Hazel the Giraffe, which I showed you. Ah, you can pull it my, sorry. I'm going to grab it in my album. It's a lot easier to yeah. pull up a picture that way than try to dig through all these bags. So. Um, I really was kind of leery because last year I kind of fell out of the scavenger hunt because I picked really big projects. And so this year I went the opposite way. So what I had for mine is I have Hazel the giraffe, which I showed you. Um, that was kind of my, well, I'll go ahead and go a little bit big with Hazel the giraffe. Mm -hmm. So that's a full coverage piece. And then I decided I was going to go a little bit smaller and I picked um, 
trying to find it in here. Um, my autumn ABCs. Oh yeah, nice. So I thought that would be something smaller to work on. And I picked, it's a Lizzie Kate design, um, ho, 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 but I'm having trouble finding it here in my little Oh, well, that will be album. quick and easy though. <laughs> Right. It's going to be an easy one um, for sure. And the other one that I selected was Ho Ho Ho, Hazel the Giraffe, Autumn ABC. And hmm, well, while you, what was the other one? Well, while you're stumped, I'll show you mine. So I am... Um, I did, did the scavenger hunt and did quite well last year. I loved that that challenge, and I would have loved if they just ran that again because it was so really pretty. Cool. So little like house needleworks um, neighborhood, and I have done the whole middle row and half the top row. So I am going to finish that, and that's focus. Um, and I picked that one specifically because it is halfway to a finish and achievable to get a finish. Because when you finish, you can um, change pieces. Obviously, right. my, my Amazing Animal Kingdom, double dipping with the full coverage fanatics. And then I've also picked my, uh, so many whip, pretty whips to look at. <laughs> um, and then I then went the stitch in time to again, double, double dip with that. And then like you, it's like, hold on, what's the last one going to be? right um it's oh it's yes and i wanted to do i didn't want to do all the full coverages so i've actually picked i don't know where these ones are these ones the maidens to do because oh. of the border of winter done so i thought well there's plenty of work to do in her i'm doing them all on one piece of fabric and as much as they are gorgeous fabrics they're not actually the one i ended up doing because that was when i was going to do it on two pieces of fabric I, the other fourth one I was going to do was my July teacup from just another button company. Mm -hmm. well, and I was looking people. to try and get into the picture. Here we go. Now I'm in here. Okay. Uh, let me scroll down through here and find it. Oh, there's the ho, ho, ho by Lizzie Kate. Yeah. Lovely. Uh, I've been stitching on that monkey on a toilet. I just happened to scroll past that just now. I'm tired of looking at that monkey on the toilet. Um, oh, there it is. It's the July teacup by Just Another Button Company. And I'm almost finished with this for sure. I just have a couple of leaves and the very top of that border to put in and it's done. I don't even know if I'll have 400 stitches in that. So Wow. Well, you definitely picked some smaller ones because you were burnt last year. I was year. a little hmm. little shy after last year. So. Well, now you're going to have to think about what you're going to replace, but maybe you're going to put replace one of them with another one of your focus haids like your stargazer or something. Yeah, I've been yeah. debating on that for sure. So the other yearly things we have, so that is that is the daily 30 yearly, um, and that's good because that will, that will permeate through the whole year, but you can't double dip it with anything, which is why when you got, were showing the monthlies, instantly I had those ones in my head but I don't necessarily want to do those ones because they're my focus ones. I don't, mm -hmm. I don't know if I want to interrupt the stitching by doing another stitching and coming back. I just like it tidy. Mm -hmm. um, magical stitches have got a couple of things to do for the yearly. Um, they have got stitching, building the cabins. So basically 2,000 stitches on anything to fix up a, a Camp Half Flood cabin. Um, so that's really good for leftover stitches. And double dipping, um, it's a lot easier this year. The crazy outrageous head mistress challenge is stitching the books. So, for example, the first book is 37,500 stitches. So that's okay. going to be really good to just do like a, a, a total. And, and tying in with that, but, I mean, you can do anything for that. Um, but the um, – is the full coverage fanatics yearly stitching around Iceland. Oh and yeah. So mm -hmm. You go around Iceland and you sit work on a full coverage piece to stitch your way around Iceland. So um, I will be keeping, it'll be good because at the end of the year, if I keep up those two, I will actually know exactly how many stitches I have done in total. 
mm-hmm. and on full coverage. And this mm-hmm. year, because I'm making more of a full coverage photo focus because I've done much more on full coverage, um, it'll be, yeah, really quite fascinating, I think. Um, so then there's also, I'm also participating in the yearlies and maybe the monthlies for mythological stitches. Um, I dropped off that one last year, but they're not doing weeklies because I find the weeklies are hard to fit everything in. Um, so I've really had to, I've actually trimmed my groups, believe it or not, and ended up with eight. <laughs> so <Wow. laughs> yeah, um, some of them though are not going to be focus groups. So they're just, if I, if I can, but with myth- mythological, their yearly challenge is called the Sarasati challenge, which is an Indian goddess or something. And you had to set your own goals, which I thought was really cool. So my mm. goals that I set for me was first one I made easy. 21,000 stitches on Amazing Animal Kingdom because it double dips straight with the 21 21 from Full Coverage Fanatics. Um, right. So that's a goal that I know I'll, well, hopefully achieve and tick off for both. But the second goal was the, I want to finish 14, 13 or 14 of my pre-2020 whips. I don't have a lot of whips 20, pre-2020 um, and I've made a whip wheel. And it's, um, it's one I'm going to be spinning actually for my Cross Stitches Journal Daily 30, the 30 minutes a day. And it's the pieces that are pre, um, pre-2020, pre um, no, 2019. I don't know. These are the ones I've got anyway. Um, I should probably just find them and show you as I'm reading them because I know everyone likes to see them. So <clears throat> I want to try and knock these ones off if I can this year. Okay. So having this yearly challenge and already oh, you're time, close on that. Yeah, they're. I mean, they're all pretty close. So, so there's hours. Okay. Mm-hmm. There's. I'm not close on this one. Beautiful South American Angel by Barbara Bartz. Um, I need to work on her. Uh, it's just a matter. Of, I might just find them as I scroll through. It might be easier. As I said, I haven't I haven't learnt where things are in my whip album yet. Here we go. We've got Herb Garden by Mill Hill. I just don't love these because they're on perforated paper. I don't love perforated mm-hmm. paper. They look great though. I just don't enjoy right. seeing them. So I've got that one and this one, Barnyard Morning. Um, so I'm going to work on, you know, getting knocking those ones off. Um, <clears throat> then I've got. You can see lots of pretty things, but they're not the focus. Mm-hmm. I started a lot last year in preparation for no new starts. Um, we'll get to a clunk. And obviously this cat, <laughs> I mean, he's pretty close to finished. He's like, one right. of, he's, he's my oldest whip that I have. Um, he's from like 1997 or something like that. <laughs> So let's let's get him let's get let's get him get him. Dead. He cannot be in your whip list in twenty twenty two. No, they won't be. He will not be. So that's why I made this my goal because you know we're in no new starts and I want to knock off this beautiful angel. And again, it's the perforated paper. Mm-hmm. So um, I'm a fair way through her. You can see over here. Um, I'm quite Great. well through on her. So I got to knock her off. Um, oh, and then these two. These are old whips that I found. <clears throat> so I'm about halfway through that one. It's called A Number Sampler by All Our Yesterdays. Um, I haven't actually got the cover photo in there, but you can get an idea of what it looks like. And I mean, they're Aww. all finished. Each block is actually finished apart from two. So they're Aww, all back. That's so done them. cute. Yeah. So I thought it might be nice to finish that one. <laughs> and this one is Celtic Winder <laughs> from Lavender and Lace. <laughs> um, you got a ways to go on that one. I do have a way to go, but you know, that's what I thought. So, um, oh, there was, hold on. There is another one. I didn't find them all for you. Sorry. There, wait, there's more. I must have scrolled past them. Sorry. You're just going to have to keep looking at my whip list, people. Um, you just keep enabling, just keep enabling. Okay. <clears throat> so, Spooky Hollow from a Tiny Modernist. And you can see I'm not even halfway there yet. Um, mm-hmm. But, you know, I should try and finish that. Um, the alphabet sampler is actually an older whip, but I will finish that. That will be achieved. And the other one I'm looking for is the prairie schooler. 
Um, oh, I'd just like to, I'd just like to put a disclaimer in. This is also pre twenty twenty. My um, wow. Chatelaine. But I am not finishing the Chatelaine. It's not part of this. <laughs> um, I will part work of that on challenge. it. Oh yeah, here we are. So holiday homestead. Now I won't finish all twelve of them, but I will finish. I'm working on this swan, and my material has enough for one other. So I'll finish the swan and one other. That's the goal for Are that. you going to finish them separate like that or are you putting it all together? In no, I'm handbook? finishing them separately. So that's why okay. I, I put it as a goal to finish it, but I can't because I can't start on a new piece of fabric. And I, my piece of fabric has enough for two. So it'll be finished, those two. And look, my do me, I've actually finished dough now. So I've only got to do Ray. Oh, come on, get it done. Exactly. And um, <laughs> this one that I showed you for the 12 days of Christmas. And I mean, mm -hmm. it, you see, it's got a long way to go. Yeah. Yeah. They're going to be my daily 30 pieces um, to get done for the Sarasati challenge as well. So I thought that was, that was pretty cool. Um, yeah. Any other yearlies you can think of? Have we covered them all? I think we have. There's yeah. so much that has come out in the last two oh. days. I just feel like my I've got my my happy planner with all of my sheets and calendars and yeah. you know writing my it's, list and I feel like you know it's ten it's better than Christmas twice isn't it? and, yes <laughs> yes I've got mine and I'm it all laid out beautifully um, <clears throat> and as I said we are heading into weekly stuff as well but we will do the weekly as as a weekly. Um, a weekly video and we've got a special surprise for you with the weekly videos so mm -hmm. stay tuned for that most importantly the main thing though for this year the main yearly challenge is no new starts that's right no new starts work on those whips get them done yeah. get them done i'm actually having fun because i started so many things in preparation mm -hmm especially in the last month, it just yep. is a weight of not having that feeling like I got to start it. I got to start the next yeah. thing. I and just pull out projects I haven't seen in a while going, oh, I remember Phantom. Yep. It's so nice to put some blue in there. <laughs> no, and I think I will definitely, um, I will definitely knock off. Well, I'm going to knock off those 14 because they're going to, I'll fit them into whatever homeworks so I can make them fit. Okay. Oh, weekend. and you know what? No new starts. We have another monthly. And we didn't talk about, and that's our Scrabble. Yes. It's coming up this it is. month. All right, but we'll talk about that in the weekly. So we have events happening okay. every month, but we'll talk about that in detail the week before Scrabble happens. So you'll okay. have to make okay. sure we get you on that, the weekly one. Okay. All right. Well, yeah. thank you for joining us, people. I um, hope you enjoy the video, and we look forward to seeing you next time. Hope it helps. Bye. <laughs> Bye.